I mean, it's so surreal. To, I think I'm still soaking in and processing what just happened, to be honest. So much adrenaline leading up to tonight, and I can't even believe what just happened. It's so wonderful, and the fact that it's at home in Alberta is such a dream. I just, I felt it from the moment our, our plane touched down. It's like, I, I love getting to be home and to kind of put a frame around these special moments to share them with everybody that's a part of the Alberta community is it's pretty cool. <laughs> the music to me is always the thing that holds the light up in the room to me. And I mean, it's an honor to be acknowledged in any way, but to know that those songs, especially with the season of that record coming from writing that music in the middle of the pandemic, feeling so lost and isolated and the entire world was just going through so much and to be able to find healing in music in that time to me was it's such a light. This is my first CCMAs ever so this was just a dream come true and it was just it's been an incredible day. I'm living the full fantasy uh, not knowing this year that drag and Canada's Drag Race was going to take off so well for me and I was going to get to do so many amazing opportunities. I'm just Full of joy. I'm happy that drag and unique drag like myself is getting really recognized and showing that other art forms like country can still be involved in this kind of art. So there's so many different unique country artists out there and performers and I'm happy that I get to be one of the ones to show that as well. As my career has progressed it becomes more and more about the hang and surrounding myself with people that I really really enjoy being around my friends and family and stuff and you know, getting getting all the artists and everybody from every industry uh, in country music here that gets together, it's it's great to see everybody, and that's that's really has taken over. Really value that over the years. The last couple of years were hard on everybody. I you know I wasn't sure I'd had surgery on my voice, and I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to come back. So COVID was kind of a blessing for me, and I feel like I finally feel whole again. And then to have this happen after that record was kind of me figuring out how to sing again in my basement in a studio alone. So. This feels really good, yeah. Like this one wasn't expected either. We kind of went to have some supper and then all of a sudden we won an award. So we're really happy that uh, now that we have one, if we lose the rest, we're like, at least we got some hardware. 